Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the Swansea FIFA 17 career mode. Going to jump into a game away at Porto. You can see the group stand-ins there. A win would essentially secure qualification to the knockout stages of the Champions League. So we'll be looking to get that. Got a few emails to answer as well. It's mainly player conversations. Not going to do a press conference. But Kessie unhappy at his role at the club. And Pulisic asked to start the last game and we kind of ignored his request. We're on a decent run of form, don't want to disrupt that, but um, Pulisic will probably play today. Onana will also play. Lots of mixed comments about him. Get rid of him, play him more. You guys seem to be split, but along with the Porto game, we're also going to be taking on... Let's have a look. Everton and Hull City as we look to extend our lead at the top. January transfer window is, of course, fast approaching now, so do keep getting your comments in. But for now, let's jump into a game. So here's the Porto lineup, and I thought Porto would be the team in this group to give us uh, the most competition, shall we say, for that top spot. But it's not. They're bottom of the group, haven't yet won a game. They've got just the one point. In terms of our start on 11, I've decided to try something completely different today. An Antonio Conte style 3-4-3 formation will allow us to get Pulisic and Williams on the pitch at the same time. Lozano finds Dolberg, tight for space, but Sigurdsson is there. He rolls it through. Pulisic, oh. Had his shirt tugged. Dolberg hits it across goal. And that's a good save. Positive Steins to begin with here. Andre Silva, that's a good ball. Hanani on this left-hand side. They've got real reluctance to cross the ball, Porto. A couple of times they've got past the fullback. They just haven't put the ball into the box. Maybe they know something we don't. That's a decent effort. It's flown over the crossbar. The first thing I noticed from this formation, and it's inevitable really when you play a narrow three centre-backs, we're vulnerable out wide. Very vulnerable. None of the players we've got playing in a wide position, other than Grimaldo, are particularly defensive-minded. And Porto are on top here. Shot comes in. Luckily, it's a tame one. Ruben Neves fires one into Andre. That's a good hit. Good save from Anana. I want to see that from him. Here's Dolberg. Williams makes a run. We're looking to cause some havoc just before half-time. Haven't really put any attacks together so far. We had that really early opportunity, but since then, nothing. As Porto continue to defend very well. And instead, they're going to launch a counter-attack here. Andre Silva, Lemos needs to come across. Ruben Neves pokes it down the left-hand side. We're into stoppage time at the end of this first half. Good ball in. There's the header. And Porto have got the lead. They deserve it as well. 1-0. They turned defence into attack very quickly there. Again, got space out wide. And that's a good header. There you go. Half-time whistle goes. And I'm going to hold my hands up and say the change of formation has not worked. Going to revert back to something more familiar. So no substitutions, but we've gone to a 4-2-3-1. We're going to ask Pulisic to do that cam roll in central not something he's he's used to doing obviously normally a wide player and Alfie Mawson is going to have to do a job at right back but I'm sure he's capable Gilfie Sigurdsson Pulisic makes a run through the middle he's been found is he on side that is the question oh my god the flag stays down and he's dragged his shot wide what a chance good chance from this free kick then we haven't created that much from open play chance for Gilfie to get his level he's just got underneath it that was like a golf club of a right foot Pedro plays the ball forward. Chance for Porto to secure this game. Good piece of goalkeeping from the youngster. Love that. We're running out of time though. This is quite concerning. Oh, Dolbert. That was a poor ball really from Roberto. Completely stitched him up. We're going for this. We're, we're all out of attack. Pulisic. Dolberg. Nice back heel. Lozano. Needs Gilfi to make a run. Just waiting for him. Defender was happy to back away. Gilfi finds Dolberg. Clever turn. Casper Dolberg. Good hit. Keeper's made a bit of a hash of it. We've got a corner. And I think, yes, Anana's going to come forward for it. Just need to make sure we keep it away from the goalkeeper. He's come. Oh, he's got a punch on it. He's given a pen. I would literally thought that was a full-time whistle. I saw Anana on the floor. Don't know what's happened. I'm going to have to look at the replay. Keeper come out. Got a good fist on it. Anana's gone down under no contact. We've got a spot kick. Big moment on the shoulders of Gilfie Sigurdsson. He steps up. He tries to smash it home. It's been saved. It's been saved here in the dying moments. Wow. Is there one last chance to put this ball into the box or get a shot away? It's Pulisic. Going to finesse one. Christian Pulisic. You legend. Unbelievable late drama here in Portugal. Unbelievable. I thought the moment had gone when Gilfie missed that penalty. But Christian Pulisic in that cam roll that he's not used to. What a finish. Oh, it's, it's, it's not even that far in the corner. You'd be disappointed if your goalkeeper failed to save that. He made a meal of a long shot earlier on in the game, which led to that corner, which led to the penalty. But give Pulisic some credit. So Porto kick off. I'm sure that'll be the last kick of the game. Yes, it will. Finished 1-1 here. Not a great result. 
first half was appalling after the formation change, but I'm just pleased we got something out of the game. Not a fan of this. I'm never a fan of this. Not feeling up to it. Once he's not feeling sharp, could do with the rest. This is part of playing at a big club. Well, part of playing at a club that's qualified for European football. You're going to have fixture congestions, but don't bottle it. Let's have a look at this Everton side then, and not a great deal. Wow. We've seen some teams rest some players, but wow. All the big names missing from that starting eleven. The reason I'm particularly annoyed with Inyaki Williams, I didn't show the player's fitness, but there are many players whose fitness is lower than him. But they're happy to play. They're happy to still be in the squad. We've gone with a 4-4-2. Grimaldo going to touch this inside to Kessie. Fires it through to Nano. Signing of the season so far. And that is why. And it's taken us... Can't see the clock. Show me the clock. Three minutes to get off the mark here. Unbelievable start. Kessie played it into Nano. Good turn. A lot of good fortune about the goal. Terrible goalkeeping. Corner fizzed into the box. Dembele attacks it. Stecklenburg. What a save. This time it goes a bit deeper. Nano attacking it. He's got down. Goalkeeper's done well. Turned it away. Another good save. Pulisic into Kessie. We're dominating this young, inexperienced Everton side. And Kessie has arrowed that into the bottom corner. What a beauty. 20 minutes in, it's 2-0. He scored some screamers before Kessie, but this one was wicked. He just turned away from goal and then cut it right back into that corner. Ball has played in. Everton on the attack, looking to get back into this game. Shot comes in. Oh, I thought that was in. Donnarumma was beaten, but it went wide of the mark. <coughs> Lennon into Calvert-Lewin. He's had some first-team action for Everton. Keane. Oh, he had to time that right, and he did. He got it perfect. Here's Aaron Lennon. Stands the ball up to the edge of the box. It's headed in. James McCarthy with a chance. Donnarumma denies him. Brilliant goalkeeping. Calvert-Lewin on the edge of the box. Advantage played for Everton. There was a foul in the uh, build-up to that move. But Calvert-Lewin goes on. He's. That was a clever effort. Just tried to lift it and guide it into that far corner. Couldn't quite do it. And there's a booking for Nano, I think. Half-time. So far, so good. Two goals to the good. Happy with that. Good strike from Kessie. Worthy of winning any game. And then Nano... Grabbing another goal. He's going to be in with a golden boot shout this year, I reckon. Besic. He's got a runner ahead of him. He's looking to turn. Lamos commits to the challenge. Doesn't quite get there. They are forcing him backwards, though. Here's James McCarthy. 1-2 with Calvert-Lewin. McCarthy still going, and that was heading to the top corner. Everton have probably been the better side in this game, but find themselves 2-0 down. Here is Holgate. Plays the ball into the box. Ross Barkley. Oh, what a volley. Connected with it really, really well. But he's got to hit the target at least. Everton brought Barkley on, obviously, to try and find a way back into this game. Thought he'd guided that into the corner. Oh, Ross Barkley. Lovely turn. He's got Niasse up with him. And that's going to be a goal kick. Just got the foot in just in time. Everton continuing to dominate. Aaron Lennon now plays the ball through. Here's Vimmer playing as a striker at the moment. They're all out attack. Michael Keane. Excellent defending. Here's Ross Barkley for Everton. Time running out for them. That's a really good ball. Grant with the header. Couldn't quite direct it back across goal. And as Everton commit players forward, gaps are opening up in their defence. Here is Nano. He drives it. What a finish. What an unbelievable finish. How we are 3-0 up, I've got no idea. Everton have dominated this game for like 75 minutes of it. But Nano is so clinical. <clears throat> Here is Niasse taking on Lemos. Plays the ball in. Ross Barkley gets there. Donnarumma with a great save. Oh, the rebound. Smashed home by Aaron Lennon. It's no less than Everton deserve. It's 3-1. And the celebration's a bit over the top when you pull one back in the last minute. But let him have his moment. It's a great header initially from Barkley. Really good goalkeeping. Kessie and Donnarumma tried to get in the way. Full-time whistle goes. It's a 3-1 victory. To be honest, we were lucky not to lose against Porto. And it sounds stupid after winning 3-1. But we were lucky not to lose here today at Goodison Park. So we're at home to rock bottom of the Premier League Hull City today. A game I thoroughly expect to win. 4-1-2-1-2 is the formation of choice. And this is the side that currently sits bottom of the league. Not sure why. There are some decent players in there. Obviously Snodgrass and Huddleston. You've got Abel Hernandez up front with his pace. It's a decent side to be fair. Huddleston knocks it inside. Oh, good challenge, Michael Keane. Can we set a counter-attack up from this? Kessie plays the ball right. Kasper Dolberg could be in. Just going to hit this as hard as I can. It's a good shot. And a good save. Snodgrass plays the ball in. It's headed away by Keane. A shot comes in from Ryan Mason. Just a snapshot. Goes wide. Abel Hernandez taking on the defenders here. Puts the ball in towards the back post. Sam Byram done really well to get that away. Hull are on top now. In, in all three games so far, we've been dominated by the opposition. Here's Nano. We're looking to stamp our authority on this game. Sigurdsson finds Dolberg. Looking to create some room for a shot. It deflects into the path of Gilfie. 
who didn't quite catch it cleanly, and it's an easy save for Marshall. Curtis okay, Davis taking a chance, especially with Nano about. He's robbed him. He's finished it. What were they doing at the back there, Hull? There was no danger whatsoever. Always seems to be danger when Nano's about. He just jumped on the end of that, and the finish was never in doubt. It's his 11th Premier League goal of the season. He has been our signing of the season, no question. Absolutely brilliant. That's a great ball. Hull looking to get level before half-time here. Klukas just about keeps it in. Might put the cross in. He has done. Abel Hernandez with the header. Never really threatening. And there goes the half-time whistle. Again, it's a game that we don't deserve to be leading. But we are because we've been clinical. That's been the difference. Roberto Sigurdsson into Nano. Oh, not a great touch. He's got options to his left. Kingsley gives it back to Nano who drives one poorly. Really poor effort. Marshall with a comfortable save. It's come out to Dolberg who hits it. We've got a corner. Corner going to be fizzed in towards that near post. Dolberg flicks it on. It's a really good stop by Marshall. Dolberg lays it off now to Gilfie. He's going to have to go backwards. It's Tom Carroll. He's got it onto his left foot. It's just blocked and Hull are going to escape here. Here's Klukas. Got space down this left. That's a good ball. No one really attacking it. It's going to go all the way over to Robert Snodgrass though. Obviously, we know he's left footed. He stands it up. Abel Hernandez is in there. Donnarumma tried to punch it clear and missed it. We've scrambled it clear. Hull have gone all out attack now, which means there is space. There are gaps appearing in that defence. Sigurdsson looking to exploit that. He cuts inside. Dolberg goes the other way. Oh, it's a tidy little finish. That's game, set and match. It's Kasper Dolberg on the counter attack. I'm glad he's on the score sheet. Sigurdsson, obviously we know he hasn't got the pace to go all the way, but he cut that back really nicely, and it's just slotted into that corner. Here is Alexic, finds the right back hit, ball played in, Byram is there, oh my word. I've seen that before, go horribly wrong, at least Donnarumma managed to react and stop that being a, another classic OG. Oh, Gilfie wins possession back, this whole defence is really messing around with the ball today, that's probably why they're bottom. They gifted us the first goal, remember. They might have gifted us another hit. No, they've managed to worm their way out of it. Hull looking for a way back into this game. They've got about four minutes left. If they score now, it could be interesting. We've managed to clear it. Only so far, though. Right back pounces on it. He's played it to Abel Hernandez. Donnarumma. Great goalkeeping. Again. Keepers up. Keepers up. It's headed away by Dolberg. Only partially away. Ryan Mason with a bullet. Can Donnarumma score from this distance, do you reckon? Not if he does that. What? An earth am I... <laughs> it's a comical end to this game. Keepers back up. They've got another corner. Oh my God, I thought he was going to win that. It's Kingsley. If he can get it away from the defender here, which he can't do. Nano's diving in. Huddleston might put the ball back across. Byron half clears. Alfie Mawson trying to whack it all the way clear. He's surely committed a foul. The shot comes in. It's a bit of a scramble. Keen is there. I want this clean sheet. It's booted away by Donnarumma. And that is game. So at the end of this episode, we sit second in the Champions League group. A point behind leaders Lazio. But you can see we are both through. Only one game to go. And I think we're playing each other. So the winner of that will uh, decide who tops the group. This is how it looks at the top of the Premier League. We've opened up a six-point gap now. But to be honest, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be this far clear. Hull gave us a decent game. And they're bottom. Everton totally, totally dominated us. But we managed to come away with a win. We're still unbeaten. So are Stoke. The only... Other unbeaten side along with us here. Spurs and Arsenal are now third and fourth as the table starts to take a little bit of shape. City, Chelsea and United and Liverpool all in the bottom half. United and Liverpool level on points with 18th place Southampton. So relegation threatened, but I can't see that staying that way for long. But that's where we're going to end this one, guys. Do drop a like if you haven't already and do please subscribe to the channel if you are new and I will see you next time.